my mouth and tongue are blue because I'm drinking Sonic. What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm actually going to be doing something that I'm so excited about. I'm doing the dollar store wash and go challenge. I picked up some things from Dollar Tree because there everything's a dollar. Let's go through the things. First thing I got was a spray bottle. My mom actually got one of these and they work really good. Okay, so for shampoo, I would be using the V05 Kiwi Lime Squeeze. It says paraben and silicone free, but it does have sodium, sulfates, all that. And then I got the matching conditioner, which is still paraben and sil parabens and silicone free, but it has alcohol in it, so I mean, you're at the dollar store though, what do you expect? And for a deep conditioner, I got the, I don't know what brand this is. This is like a dollar store brand, I don't know. I got the Daily Defense uh, Frizz Define Deep Conditioner. It has coconut oil and vitamin E. There's also alcohol in here. For a leave-in, this is the only leave-in that they had. You can't even see because it's really bright. I'm using natural lighting again. But it is the brand Lusty Argan Oil 4-in-1 Leave-In Conditioner. Um, it softens and detangles. There is... <coughs> Excuse me. There's alcohol in here also. And for a styler, I kind of struggled finding a styler because they only had like mousses and then like gels like holding gels not like a like a curl defining gels like holding gels like you would slick your hair back with so i got a mousse and it is salon Sel salon selectives anti-frizz curl sculpting volume or intense volume mousse it has extra firm hold and i already know there's sodium in here alcohol and then i also bought a kit kat but that doesn't have anything to do with this challenge and my total was seven dollars and 47 cents so i'm gonna insert a clip from when i was at dollar tree to kind of show you guys like i was struggling because there's really no products that were like for natural hair and da 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 so i struggled but I'll just insert some small clips and then um, I'm going to go wash and condition my hair and I'm also going to deep condition. So I'll be back after I do these things. So I've rinsed out the deep conditioner and honestly... While rinsing, my hair wasn't as buttery, but y'all, like, I don't really know how I feel about it. I feel like my hair is, like, pretty moisturized, you know? But, I don't know. Like, it looks good, and it really does smell good, like, to be honest, but I still don't know how I feel about it. I think... I'll know like once my hair is dry if it's still like really defined and everything. Moving on to the fun part. I am going to part my hair in a side part this time. I'm just going to do my hair how I normally do it. Like in my wash and go, you know, everyday wash and go or whatever. I'll link my wash and go down below that I have on this channel. I just go in with water to get my hair saturated because I feel like, you know, products look best or you get the best results when you apply product to soaking wet hair. Now I'm going to go in with the Lusty Argan Oil Leave-In. I'm actually most nervous for this because I don't know. I just, 
I don't know. I'm just about to be applying this all throughout my hair. I'm not rinsing it out. And it has, like, alcohol and all these crazy things. And then again, like, I don't know if it'll, like, have good slip. Um, you yeah, know, but we'll see. So I'm going to... Ooh. So it's really thick. Like... It's really thick. So I'm just gonna start on this side. Ooh, I don't really like the way it feels. You know, like, it smells pretty kind of good. You know when you put a leave-in in your hair and you can just like rake it and it gets like, like has really good slip. This one is kind of like, it's not as easy to rake through, but we'll see. Feeling it, it doesn't feel like anything's like really in there, but honestly, it looks kind of good, so we'll see. Okay, so this is my hair with just the leave-in. Now I'm going to add the mousse. I don't use mousse, but this is all I have. So we'll see. Just like we'll see with everything else. I don't really know how much mousse to use. Is that enough? I feel like mousse is very airy. Like it's okay. I don't know if this is too much, but we'll see. Uh uh, I got too much. I think. What do I do? Okay. Can I wipe some of my shirt? Mousse kind of dissolves. I don't know. We'll see. So I'm just gonna like go around my head and kind of rake it through. Okay, so you guys know that I like to finger coil certain parts of my head. I like to finger coil like up here after I add my styler. But there's not much slip in this stuff, so I like to finger coil like some of the damaged strands that I have. Ah, it's not no slip. Okay, I'm just going to go around and scrunch. this dry for a few hours I'm an air dryer I don't really like to um, diffuse I just I mean I do in the winter time I feel that diffusing makes my hair more frizzy and air drying makes my hair look a little bit more polished and less frizzy um, even though I feel like there's nothing wrong with like big frizzy hair but like for the first day you know I want it a little more tamed than that so when my hair is dry I will be back and I will let you guys see the final results I'm back and I don't know if y'all can see this but I am at like this is the second day so I did my hair yesterday evening and then overnight I put it in a pineapple with a little like it's like a cloth scrunchy thing I got from Forever 21. But it's like, I feel like my hair looks like this when I use other products. Like I like big hair. I like voluminous hair. Um, the only thing I could say is like, 
it's kind of frizzy like up here in this area and like up here it's not as moisturized as usual but i'm honestly like gonna wear my hair out like this this is probably sorry my nose itches this is probably gonna last me a few days i um slicked my edges or i don't really want to call it my edges but i like to swoop my side with eco style the argan oil one and i don't know i just i don't know i am mad at it so i took this challenge by the reins yeet and i knocked that mug out boop boop i'm literally crazy thank you guys for watching make sure to subscribe like comment let me guys know down below let me guys know down below let me guys know down below like what kind of videos y'all like to see what y'all want to see i think i'm gonna do a mukbang soon i have a mukbang coming and then i have some more things that are on my checklist so stay tuned and let's continue to grow together see you guys in the next video bye